Okay, we left off page 165. We're holding Mincha, Mincha on, on Yom Kippur. Page 165. Im Chol If Yom Kippur falls on a Shabbos, Omnit Tzit Kosho. Normally, if you have a Shabbos Yom Tif, we don't say Tzit Kosho, Tzit Kosho Tzedek, even every Rosh Chodesh, right, just now. Shabbos, Mincha, the spare Shabbos, we didn't say Tzit Kosho. Because whenever one doesn't say Tachman, one doesn't say Tzit Kosho. She says, you do say it. V'omrim, Ovinu Malkeinu. He say Ovinu Malkeinu, which you do. He, but he says Imchal B'Shabes. He say Ovinu Malkeinu. This is the Mechaber. I go B'Dinu Seilo again. The Ramo says, but in the no, it's Nilo, Nilo, Nilo. Me he's being Mincha. He says you say Ovinu Malkeinu Mincha. O B'Dinu Seilo Ramo says, but in our communities, the Ashkenazic communities, in Omrim Tzit Kosho, will Ovinu Malkeinu. We don't say it's Kosh on Shabbos, as we don't say throughout the year, if it's Yom Tif, and we don't say Avinu Malkeinu, <coughs> when Yom Kippur is on Shabbos. Mishnah Bura, Om Tzit Kosh on Shabbos, Om Avinu Malkeinu, Avshu Shevus Tzrochim, although we don't make requests, Halo Hushas Gemar Din, Vim Lo Achshu Mimosai. So we extend it to Nilo. If not now, whenever. When else? If not now. Right, that's when Nilo, we say Avinu Malkeinu, even though it's Shabbos. It's Shabbos, we say Avinu Malkeinu at Nilo. At Nilo. Why? Did you say it at Mincha, Musab Shachras? No, why? This is your last chance. Exactly. So the Mechaber says, when we speak out, that since it's the day of judgment, even Mincha, you don't wait till the last moment. Right? Even before the last moment. If not now, when else? In Om Tzit Koso, the Chsiv Bo Mishpotecho Tom Rabo. Mishpotecho Vim Vakshim Rachmin, the Fnashim is Borch, Vim Kippurim. Bo Nom Vakshim, we're saying Mishpotecho. God's judgment is like the, the deepest waters, meaning it's beyond our, it's not fathomable. We're asking for Rachmin, we're not talking about Mishpot. Mish, Mishpot is judgment. Now there's important. Rabbi's not here today. But Avinu Malkeinu, that's his thing. He says, what about if you're running late? Maybe you skip Avinu Malkeinu. He says, if it would be during the weekday, in low shazman kotzer, tzorchem is bahayr kadeh shpalu nilo bayom. Mincha is running late. And if you say Avinu Malkeinu, you're going to start nilo late. And it's more you have to start nilo, Earlier, skip Ovina Malkeinu. Skip it. It's not that important. It's more important you start kneeling in its proper time. It's best to say less slowly than to hurry it and rush it to say more. Sadam Halbach, a person comes to the in a certain minion. They rush to Sukkot de Zimra. Let's say you pick certain Sukkot de Zimra to say. Some of the halukas, but you'll say it slowly with kavana. But if you say every one, you can't say it with pro- proper focus. So you say less. It's better to say less than say more. Of course, yeah, certain things you have to say. You can't say, skip ashrei. Baruch shem ashrei yishtabach. You have to say. But let's say you only have time just to say those three. Say those three. After davening, you want to go back. That's a different discussion, right? Which you don't have to go back. You don't have to go back because it's no longer psukim the zimra. It's just saying tilim, saying tilim. But uh, on the forward. You say less, but say it properly. Yes. What? The, the, the halukas take precedence over the yichvot. First, you do get a certain halukas, then it goes. There's a certain order of priority. Okay. Certain things you can't skip. Right. Definitely. Definitely. Well, don't come late. We're not talking about coming. Come on time, but they go too quickly. It's better to say less than say more. Say less properly than say more. We just rush through it. Those those have to be said. That that is the essence of psukhidism. No, the third and fifth haluka, and the vayivok david, and then you have the halukas. Then you go back. Okay, let's see dalit. 
Yichvod is it's brought. You should say even Hodu till uh, till the first the first what's it? What it's brought? Not that book. The first what? That there, and then you go to the youth vote. The first, the Hodu right after Baruch Shema. Ms. Mashir, you could skip also. Because Ms. Mashir is really the introduction to Sukhi Zimra. Right? Some Sudan people say, Harenim Zamir. Right? Before Now you're about to start saying Sukhi Zimra. So it's Mizmer. Sheikh Hanagasim Dov is an introduction to the Pesuk of Yisimra. That, that's, that's the whole discussion. That's why. That's the difference between that. See what it's before. It's not part of Pesuk of Yisimra. It's, it's an introduction. Like we say, Ms. Moshia, the Ashkenaz, the Nusra Sad says Hodu as an introduction. That, exactly. That's what I'm telling you. So Ms. Moshia, that's, it's an introduction to the Pesuk of Yisimra. Right, because now I'm about to say Pesukah Zimra. So what? So so Nusra Sfarah says Hodu before Baruch Shemar. That it's not part of Pesukah Zimra. It's just it's an introduction to Pesukah Zimra. Okay. A nosin kapayim b'mincha b'yom kipurim. The coin sheovar v'olod duchan. He says, well we don't. Ashkenaz duchans once. Sfarim duchan at every single tefillah. They duchan shachris. They duchan musaf like an Eretz Yisrael. Right? Every Shabbos they do them twice. Shabbos and Midr you don't. Because that's because of people eat, you drink. It's a question of shikrus. You drink wine, coins not qualified to, to do it. Right? So what about a Yom Kippur? Nobody's nobody's eating on drinking. So we'll see. Nevertheless, a no on a regular fast day, we we say uh Elukel say that. Why? Because it, since it's it's a fast day and it's later in the day. It's later since it's not the Zman Achilo, it's not the time you normally would eat, that's why you do it. So on a fast day, in Eretz Yisrael, they would, they would do it normally. Mincha. Right? Okay? But on Yom Kippur, Mincha, they don't do it. Ain't no sin. The coin should have all the duchen. If a coin, he ascended, he went up to duchen, I raise a nose, a him, or read the nose. You allow him to say, Birchus Kohanim, and you don't remove him. You don't remove him. Ain't no sin, Kapayim. Ein sim kufchav tes, vor kol proteim. No si kapov, ein leil sim kufchav tes. The metam zi ish noge no man alokeno v'kilo v'sein. He says that's the reason why you do say it. V'wadi in the ish loma sim sholom v'lo sholom rav. Right? There's difference again. Minig Ashkenaz and Sfarad. On a fast day, Ashkenaz says sim sholom, not sholom rav. It always goes hand in hand with the with Birchus Kohanim. V'vork. Simin kufka wubsova the chad dino koin echod all the duchin shwanu okru raglayim babuda dain lo olu she ate to be sakes lo yalu imo. He says, What about, and he says, if a coin went up, you allow that coin, coin. Let's say other quadrant began walking. They didn't know. They were ignorant. They started to walk towards the front, but they didn't get up front yet, but they're on the way. It's better they should leave the shul. They should not go up. If they're in the shul, they have an obligation to do, say the Birchus Kohanim, right? Once the, the Shlitzim says Kohanim, they have to go. They have to respond. So it's better to leave before. But each one has its own reason. Maybe each one has its own reason. Next, hello. Say the Tfilas Nilo. Lenilo Ome Ashrei Bekadish, Veno Ome Volotio. It's interesting. Before the Mechaber, it said, Mincha, you say, Ashri Volotzeel. So the Ramos says, but Ashkenaz, Minag Ashkenaz does not say, Ashri Volotzeel Mincha. We go straight, we have Kriya Torah and Mincha. But the Mechaber says, the Shulon Aruch says, Ashri Volotzeel. Now, what about Nilo? So seemingly, you can't start Nilo without Ashri, because it has to be introduced with Kaddish. So something has to precede the Kaddish. So therefore, the Mechaber says, Lenila Ome Ashrei, the Kaddish, Veino Ome Volotzin, because Volotzin, you already said, Mincha time, according to the Machaber. But at Minna Gashna, we haven't yet said, O Volotzin, so we say Volotzin by Mincha, by, by Nilo. Hakar Kasavti, the Minna, the Nilo say, Lomar Ash U Volotzin. So the Ramos says, I've already written before, but the Minna of Ashkenaz is, we say Ash U Volotzin by Nilo, not by Mincha. Correct? Mincha is only introduced with Kriya Satora. 
We should record him the law. Kedi lahapsik bo beitfilas mincha lefilas the law. So we hold Ashkenaz hold Christo is sufficient to separate between Musaf and Mitra. That's what we only have Kriya Satoru. The Mechabra says, no, you have to have Ashkenaz to make that separation. But now you have to have something to separate between Mitra and Nilo, so therefore you have Ashray. Now, when is the appropriate time to say Nilo? Zmat Filas Nilo. What is the appropriate time for Nilo? Kishama Baroshi Lonos. When the sun is still, it's on top of the trees. No, we definitely don't. That you should complete it just about at sundown. Right, we finish it usually when we're ready to start Myra. If we finish Nilo, we do Myra immediately. So what does Shkia Sechama mean? Does it mean when the sun fully sets? When it fully sets means, that means it's set fully below the horizon. That means it's dark outside. That's what we understand it. We, can t- we say Nilo till the sun has fully set. When it fully sets, the moment later, that's, 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 that's nightfall. He says, the Shlech should not, should, the Shlichos, the very supplication, the Psukim, he should actually, he should, the he should do it in a more abbreviated way, because you have to finish within this period of time. You know, uh, in, uh, we call Tamiya Mikro, Trump, the Cantalations. You have, you have uh, uh, what's it called? Reis Mamo, the uh, Shalshelis. You go, uh, keep going. You ever hear the, the, the Svarim, the, the, the Chazonim, how they sing? They can keep going, you know, like Joe Amar. Just keeps going. So over here he says, at Nilo, the Chazan, and, and over there, every part of the Tefillah has a different song. They have endless, endless melodies, this Vardim. The real professional Chazan, every Yom Tif has another melody, or e- each day has a different melody. So he says, when it comes to Nilo, he should not draw it out, elongate the Koltev table. Normally, every word is, is, is elongated. Kider Shemosh Chepet Nila, you say the word, go to the next word. Don't draw it out. It's important to finish before Shkiah. Ramok concludes, instead of saying Kosmeinu Lachayim, now we begin saying Kosmeinu Lachayim. We should be sealed, not only inscribed, we should be sealed for life. What? No, 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 no. No, because you're not going to finish in time. Nila has to be finished at the end of Yom Kippur. You're not supposed to finish it after Yom Kippur. No, 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 that's not the reason. He, he says no. Because the, you have to be finished before Shkia Sachama. That's the reason. What Shkia Sachama mean? Yeah, See, in Eretz things go very quickly. It's 20 minutes, sometimes. 20 minutes, you finish, it's before you turn, it's in a moment late, it's already nightfall. Let's see the, the Mishnah Bura. Just a moment. Shechama Roshi Lonos. You start when the sun is on top of the trees. He says it's a, a time a little before the beginning of sun, sundown. Oh, he says it. What does it mean? It should be at about Shkia Sachama. That's when you should finish. Sof Shkia. Should say Skochobim. When the sun has fu- fully set. When it fully sets below the horizon, it's dark. Right? The rays of light are no longer coming up over the horizon. So a moment before that, there should be a moment, by the finished Nilo, a moment later, that's when you have nightfall. Some say, which is not the Mechaber, you can even extend Nilo even into, even into the night time. Who's the Gimel? No, 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 we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. Let's say you hold normally 42 minutes is nightfall. Neil is finished by 42 minutes. No, no. No, no, he says nightfall. Literally, some say you could even say Neil, we have Tosefi Shabbos. person wants to extend Shabbos, you can extend Shabbos. So they're of the opinion that you can extend Yom Kippur. So if you want to extend Neil into the nightfall, something you could do. 
Pach Umuva Gam Bemogan Avram. Okay? Val Pisha Iker Kisvori Shar, although the primary opinion is the first, that you should not say Milo into nightfall because it's after Yom Kippur. Komokum Achshin Ogi Kisvori Achrono, Ain Limchos Beyond Pieces. But if you see people conduct themselves as a second opinion, you shouldn't say anything. Let them do what they want. Komokum Tshikhin Al Kopon Lizor Lahaskel Bor Hayom Godel. The key is when you start. Sometimes people, they go so long with Musaf, they start Nila too late already. Right? Nila has to be started during the daytime. It cannot be started. The Gam Yizor Loma Hachoruz Hal Yom Nif Yifne. Shemesh Yovo Vyifne. The day is ending. The sun is setting, the day is ending. Kodem, wait, Kodem for Erev. Shemesh, Dim Lokain, who could do Vishkor of Hashem. Otherwise, you're saying, oh, it's like a person, in the Mara says, a person says, Krishna would have to him. And you have to. It's okay. Ilu made Eid Shekhar. You say false testimony. You say, Pshatam lo sa yudecho. Right? Then you're not wearing tefillin. But yet, yeah, speaking of personal has tefillin. He could wear tefillin. So, Ilu made Eid Shekhar. Here also. You're saying, the sun is setting, and it's already nightfall. The sun already has set. To be continued. To be continued.